I uh, gonna make a video real quick. I had another video that I just did with my phone uh, a few weeks ago, and I never got around to posting it, so I'll probably end up posting them both same time. So you'll see the baby's a little younger, and then now that I've got out there. But this here's Smarty. I just wanted to mention on him. We just got uh, Smarty just got his Grand Champion um, certificate in the mail the other day, so that's really exciting for us. So we got our first Grand Champion broken red. And he's a buck, uh, and it's smarty. He's a good, real good buck. He's awesome, big guy, big head, big everything. He's, he, uh, we're very proud of Smarty. Now, Smarty came out of Crackle and Miss K. And if you followed my videos, and you've seen Smarty when he was little and as he grew up. And there is uh, Mr. Warhead right there. I'm just gonna fly through here. And this here is Smarty's brother from a different litter. And if you can see in his eye there. It's got a little bit of fogginess in the middle of it. That's where he had a nest box eye when he was little and his litter over the winter. And uh, he's turning out to be quite a nice little buck. Just kind of an extra breeder to back up Smarty for now. I've got another one in the box right now out there. It looks a lot like Smarty when he was little. But uh, he's just kind of a backup breeder for now to kind of match his uh, full brother over there. He's a little bit darker than Smarty, which is kind of cool. Which is exciting for me out of that breeding. It means I can get some darker reds out of him. Which is good, and he, he ought to throw them since he has it. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's him. And I can't remember what we named him. And it is Pop Rocks. That's who it is. Yeah, it is uh, Pop Rocks there. That's Smarty's brother, Pop Rocks. And, of course, the regular crew. And Crunch is up here now. And Crackle's over there. Zero's down here. And Rolo's right there. And then we got Good Bar down here. And do you see Good Bar? That is molting. That is blowing your coat. <laughs> he is rough looking. Poor guy. He just blowing it all out though. And he, and he piles it up for us. And we go in there and we scrape it out. It's, it's kind of funny. I'll take you out to the girls. I can tell you this. These aren't going to make it very good because I got the sun setting in the background. But this here is uh, one of the four does. And then there's three bucks that were out of Good Bar and Starburst. And you can see she's really slick. They're real pretty. They were outside in the last video. They've been since brought in and got their own little condo space to grow out in. So every, all there's all of them there. I'll just I know the sun's behind me, but there's another one, another one, and another one. Then down here, you got the bucks. There's one, and there's another one, and there's one there. And uh, this is Snow Caps. Y'all know her. And here's uh, the two sister does. <laughs> this is really bad with that sun, isn't it? I apologize for that. I should have done a video at a better time, but it is what it is. And they would be full brother or full sisters to these guys here. And these are all out of Charlie and Good Bar. And then Dove, her kits are weaned. They're outside. I'll go show you them in a minute. But uh, another neat thing I want to show you is coming up here. Um, anyway, there's Crackle on Fun Dips, first litter, and right here, that's the doe, and that's the little buck, and then, uh, and that's another little red doe, instead of broken. Now, in the sun, that's really bad, but this here is Pixie Sticks. Pixie Sticks is out of Rolo and, uh, Starburst. I can't remember if I said that right, but that litter up here with all those reds, that was Good Bar and Starburst, I don't remember. But anyway, this is Rolo and Starburst. There's a buck inside that's her brother, and then her. She ended up actually was the smaller one in the litter, but she had the best type. So I marked her, you know, so I'd keep my eye on her. Well, we just took her up to Iowa and showed her. And in the uh, specialty show she was in, she took uh, best of variety red. So that's really cool for us, and we're super excited. Another one we've raised. You know, after hot tamales and uh, watch McCall got taken out of the show circuit for breeding purposes, it, it kind of makes you nervous because you're like, well, what am I got coming up? Are they going to do any good? And, you know, when they were younger, they showed and they did okay, but they were the only ones there. This time they actually had a competition. They had a couple other breeders there, you know, and uh, good breeders. And we went up against some really good rabbits. She did just fine there. So, real excited for her because she is what I thought she was and she's pretty good pretty nice like I said Dove and Charlie and then we got hot tamales up here in her last video her babies were in the box I believe I'm just going from the hip because I can't remember that video because I haven't posted it yet 
But uh, she had eight, and she has seven left. Really nice big one there. And we got this guy. That's what water tastes like. Sorry about my neighbor's dog barking. It uh, doesn't like his chickens. That's too cute not to film, isn't it? <laughs> All right, and there's hot tamales. And she is obviously one of our big dogs. And then we have uh, Milky Way down here and her babies. She has five little red babies right there. She had eight, say five. That's about what Milky Way does. She, she has, you know, eight or so, and then she likes to keep about five. Whatever reason she does, and that's fine because that's one of her babies right there, isn't it? That's hot tamales. And again, they were out of Rolo and Milky Way back in the day last year. Uh, here's whatchamacallit. Oh, sorry about the sun. I'm trying. Whatchamacallit. I moved her over here to this bigger cage. I had her in a smaller cage with her first litter. Sometimes I just I have this feeling sometimes they don't know what to do their first time. And I figure in that 2x2 two two cage, I make her have them in there. And uh, that way she has less room to spread them out. She'll actually use the box. And sure enough, she did. She did a wonderful job anyway. But she had eight and still has eight. And the thing with this is, is we have three torts in here. Torts look like this guy. Got the dark nose, dark ear, dark hips. There's three of them in there like that. Two like that. And then one looks like this super dark red. It's like a beautiful dark red rabbit with a little bit of tort in it. Now that comes from the, uh, the chestnut. Her dad was broken, a goody or chestnut. And uh, her mama was um, starburst, so she was red. And uh, that made, you know, her. And then thrown back to red, these are Good Bars babies. Back to that solid red, and uh, they made it like three torts out of that deal. So, but the reds in there are pretty, they're nice. They're at the age now where they're kind of fluffy, so they're not as dark as when they were when they were little and they got dark, and then now they're fluffy and they kind of lighten up. And then as they get a little bit older, you'll see them darken up like the others of uh, Good Bars, those first ones I showed you in the first cages. Um, over here is Kit Kat. She's over here just because I got tired of bending down on that bottom cage, which I'll use when I have to use it, but right now I don't have to use it. So Kit Kat's over here. Uh, she missed the last time, so we took her and showed her. She won um, Best uh, Broken Doe, I believe, at the last show she was in. And she's gorgeous. She is such a pretty rabbit. And she's got a nice litter outside I can show you again how they turned out. I know I'm going kind of slow, but i got to keep getting caught up with everything. But uh, she's bred back, and she is bred back to Smarty again. And that's who her last litter was out of. And here's uh, Glacier. She has a nice little broken there, a red, and a broken red down there. And then two broken steels that are really pretty. I love that steel color. And they're out of Crackle. And then here's Crackle and Miss K. This is the same breeding as Smarty's. And there's a brother to Smarty, another one. And, of course, all these Brokens. Them two Brokens in there, this Broken here, another Broken around the corner. All the Broken Reds end up being Bucks. This whole litter is Bucks. Two Red Bucks. Two Broken Charlie Bucks. Steel. A Steel Buck. And then a Broken Red Buck. He's pretty good size. He's nice. Kind of like his brother Smarty, let's hope. And here's Reese's. She missed her last time. Reese's been really struggling with her, you know, if you've been following it. She has them on the wire. She has all kinds of deal. This last time she had them over a few different days. And uh, I just uh, decided to breed her back to zero. And they didn't take. I guess it's because she wasn't ready yet. But that's okay. She got bred again today. So we'll see what happens with her and Zero. Trying to basically do what I did with Zero and Iris, except with Zero and Reese's, because Reese's is a really, really big doe. She's huge. She's uh, almost her max maximum weight. Oh, I wasn't even showing you, was I? My bad. I was looking at her. Anyway, she's almost her max weight, and uh, but she's beautiful, and she's got huge, awesome bone to her. Put that with Zero's body. Maybe we'll be making some more and doing even better than we did originally with Iris. Uh, she does need to be bred to a broken red just so I can get some out of her, but, you know, trying to do what I can. Here's Twix with uh, Smarty. I know I'm flying through them now because I know I'm running out of time. 
There's a little pretty broken there and it ended up being a buck. This little broken here I haven't checked, but it has excessive white hairs, which, you know, they're still going to make broken babies. It's just not what I need to keep. And here's Andy's. Beautiful Andy's. Pretty girl. Now, Andy's is Uncle Cy out of Starburst. So she's his full sister to watch him call it, except she, and fund it, except she's out of a different litter, the next litter. And uh, she's just a beautiful girl. She's, she's awesome. She's got like three legs or something on her and I'll take you out and show you the babies real quick back outside I know a lot of, not a lot of educational stuff just showing you how my babies grow up it seems like all the time if you have questions or anything or you want me to do a video on anything try to try to submit them to me get them to me message them whatever you need to do um, this is Smarty and Kit Kat Slitter I talked about Kit Kat in there how she's bred back to Smarty two Charlies one buck one doe two reds both does three pretty broken reds back there one buck, two does. So a lot of a lot of uh, possibilities. You can just see the bodies on these things. They're slick and pretty. They're getting to that age. They're about 11 weeks. So I usually tattoo them around 12 weeks. That's when I kind of tell, start deciding on them. But I really don't like to decide on them until they're about 16 weeks or more, because see them grow out. This here is that little uh, one of the little white bucks out of um, Zero and Glacier. I brought him out here because he is hutch staining himself against the uh, the metal urine guards. And he just he just needs to go. I don't need the whites, and I've raised them up, and I've showed them enough, and I got some young whites in there out of uh, Avalanche, the next litter, and so I'm going to be showing them. Same thing with this girl. I think she's gone tomorrow, but she's got a she has a leg on her from before, and she's a really nice doe, and uh, someone's going to be real happy with her. Now here is Dove and Good Bars litter, her very first litter she raised. Um, and there's three of them, and they are just gorgeous, beautiful color, and good looking bodies for little rabbits. And then over here, next to the dogs, I'm going to yell at her a minute. Zoe, stop. And uh, here's uh, Fun Dip, and this is her litter from Smarty. She has two Brokens, and they're both got the excessive hair, but man, they got some big bodies. I'm telling you, that's Smarty. He's throwing some nice looking rabbits once they get about 10 weeks or so. You know, eight to ten weeks, they're looking good, and then that twelve, man, they're really looking nice so far. And I got three whites out of that litter because, you know, Smarty and her both go back to zero, so they threw some whites. And then we got this little red and that little red. I think there's a red buck and a red doe in there, and they're really nice body type too. So, anyway, Zoe, stop. All right, so I'm gonna have to let you guys go because I've run it too long, and I think I'm posting two videos anyway. So. Um, good seeing y'all. If you have any questions, please post them. Uh, things been going good for us. Beautiful summer. And, uh, got a little bit of rain. Keeping it a little cooler. That's good. But, uh, other than that, thanks for watching.